Welcome to May 18 to May 22, day one of ESOL instruction for newcomers, grades six through eight. It's your teacher, Mr. Ebling. This presentation is based on the grade six through eight newcomer ESOL, May 18 to May 22, day one paper packet. These paper packets can be picked up at meal distribution centers throughout Baltimore. The center closest to Highland Town Elementary Middle School is John Rura Elementary School. The school address is 701 Rapola Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21224. The theme for this week is kindness. For this week, you will need a bilingual dictionary, pencil, and a calculator. At the end of this week, you will be able to evaluate numerical expressions, recognize that without parentheses, exponents are evaluated first. Use comparative adjectives to write about the Swiss family Robinson. Write to describe how to be kind to the earth. Write to describe how animals look from different viewpoints. Respond to written questions using vocabulary words and details from a text. There are many important words to learn for this week. They are order, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, branch, bow and arrow, rope, ladder, climb, excited, kindness, elephant, blind, India, angry, blindfold, earth, recycle, reusable bags, bicycle, trash can, upset, overweight, mean, poor, supplies, list, borrow, and secretly. Here is a knowledge organizer with images to get us thinking of what we will learn this week. This week's theme is kindness. Look at the picture. They each show a family of four going to a soccer game. Tickets were $5, but in the left picture on the left, the mom buys one soft drink for $2. And in the one on the right, the family buys four for $2 each. What do you see? What do you want to know? Write or draw in the chart. When I look at this picture, I notice two stick figure families of four. In one picture, there is a soda can over the family, and in the other picture, there are four soda cans. I wonder why this picture is arranged the way it is. Here are seven vocabulary words that we will use in today's lesson. Look at the picture synonym to understand its meaning, then write the word in your language. Those words are order, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Consider the following expression, three plus four times two. In a middle school class in Baltimore, some students evaluated the expression to 11 and other students evaluated the expression to 14. One student explained her answer. I added three plus four first for a sum of seven. Then I multiplied seven times two for a product of 14. Another ex student explained his answer. I multiplied four times two first for a product of eight. Then I add, added eight plus three for a sum of 11. Only one answer can be correct. Which is correct? During the last lesson, we said that addition was a shortcut to counting on. How could you think about subtraction? Subtraction is a shortcut to counting back. Multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. Thinking back on lesson four, how could you think about division? Division is repeated subtraction. Multiplication and division are more powerful than addition and subtraction, which led mathematicians to develop the order of operations in this way. So calculate multiplication and division before doing an addition or subtraction. Now that these rules of these rules of order of operations are clear. Can you go back and evaluate the expression three plus four times two as 11? Rules of order of operations. One, multiplication and division are evaluated first from left to right. Two, addition and subtraction are always evaluated last from left to right. Three, exponents are more powerful than multiplication or division. If exponents are present in an expression, they are evaluated before any multiplication or division. Four, operations inside parentheses are always evaluated first, before exponents and any operations. 
more rules of order of operations. One, parentheses are all, always evaluated first. Two, exponents are evaluated before multiplication and division. Let's practice. Evaluate expressions one to three. They contain only addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Evaluate expressions four to five. They also contain exponents. Evaluate expressions six to seven. They also contain parentheses. Write each expression in words, then speak the expression out loud. Order of operations. One, parentheses. Two, exponents. Three, multiplication and division. Four, addition and subtraction. Think about it. Are these two expressions equivalent to each other? Then fill out the following sentences. Yes, they are equivalent expressions because blank. Or no, they are not equivalent expressions because blank. Today's objective was to evaluate numerical expressions and recognize that without parentheses, exponents are evaluated first. Write your answers to the questions below. What is one thing you learned from this lesson? What is one thing you are still curious about? Final steps from Mr. Ebling. If you are in my Google Classroom, you can either send me a picture of your completed work there or edit the PDF that is in Google Classroom. If you are unable to join Google Classroom, take a picture of your completed packet and text it to me. If you do not have a packet, write your answers on your paper and then text it to me. My classroom code for Google is XUZFSOB. My number to text me is 410-645-0593, but please do not text after 8 p.m. My email is taebeling at bcps.k12.md.us. This is the end of this presentation. Please complete as much as the packet as you can if you have one. More presentations presentations will be posted as they are created. Remember to be safe, stay six feet away from people when you are away from your home, and wash hands as often as you can. Goodbye for now, Mr. Ebling.